Hey everyone, Sam here. Thanks for joining me. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are in the world. Just a quick video today, checking in, letting you know what I'm up to in my studio at the moment. And I'm working on quite a big project that I've set myself. I'm painting a load of seascapes and I've been designing quite a few of them on my iPad using Procreate, which I'm just finding is a great tool to use. It's got some real advantages over pencil sketching, but I've been doing a combination of both, pencil sketches and using Procreate. So I'm already into designing these seascapes and I've actually started blocking in some of the colour studies which I'll show you in the next videos so I'll keep you in touch with everything that's going on as this painting project progresses but I thought in this video I'll just quickly show you a couple of the sketches that I did on Procreate and just explain a couple of the features so we'll just get straight into the video and I hope you enjoy it. Right, so I'm sketching in this seascape at the moment and what I'm doing is I'm just getting in the rough kind of colours and values in, I've already marked in where my major shadows are in the rocks and I'm using this flat brush and it's cool because you can adjust the size of the brush as well. I'll just show you some of the other brushes that I've been using, so the flat brush is really good. Um, this is in the painting section. I'm also using the old brush that's really good for blending the paint and that, that really makes it look a lot more painterly as well. I'm going to blend in these clouds using this old brush. So I've just tapped in the colour and if you can just go like that and it has a paint effect which is really cool. You can make it bigger as well. So it literally is like an old paintbrush and I can blend all this together which is really cool. One other thing with digital sketching, I still try and keep it in mind as if it's like a painting as well. So I'm also still trying to maintain the colour harmony within it. So before I get into the digital sketch, I'll just show you a couple of the reference photos I'm using here. These are some photos I took on the island of Guernsey, which is in the English Channel, and it gets some pretty wild weather and heavy swells, big crashing waves, so great reference photos for painting seascapes. When I began sketching out the composition for this digital painting, what I did was I made the square that I was sketching on really small and treated it like a thumbnail sketch. I pretty much got a good idea of a composition and then once I'd marked this out, I then made the square that I'm sketching on big again and then started adding more details to the composition outline. Then once this was done, I was mostly using the flat brush in the painting section of the brush library and I was broadly marking in the colours in the sky and clouds and then the main body of the ocean. Now normally when I paint artworks, I paint in the dark values first so that I can gauge the rest of the tonality of the painting and then I start adding colours. But in this case, I just got carried away with marking in the colours to begin with. So. I didn't add my dark values first, which I normally do. However, most of the dark values are all in the foreground in the rock shadows. Now once I'd marked in the main zones with the flat brush feature, I was then able to blend a lot of things using the old brush, dry brush and jagged brush features, which works really well in the clouds and the sea because it starts blending the colors together. Overall, when it came to painting the rocks, I was just mainly using the flat brush feature and I was able to zoom in on this digital painting for the finer details in there. I finished up this digital painting by adding my final highlights, which I'd saved till the end, and that was in the breaking wave and the white water in the foreground. In this second digital painting here, inspired by the central coast in Australia, I again did the same thing that I did with the first digital painting. I made the image really small and sketched out thumbnail compositions and then made the image big again and started adding more details. And then I started adding the colours in, using the flat brush feature most of all, broadly marking in the colours, especially in the sky and the ocean. I then marked in the shadows in the rocks and painted the areas that are in the full sunlight as well. Loosely marking in all these zones and then starting to add more details. So using that old brush, jagged brush and dry brush feature again, especially for the clouds and the ocean. 
And then I spent quite a bit of time adding details to the rocks, just using the flat brush feature and zooming in on the rocks, which is really easy to do with Procreate. There's actually so many more things you can do with Procreate than you could with just a sketchbook and pencil, so it really is handy in my design process. I finished up the digital sketch by adding the details in the water in the foreground and then adding the highlights to the breaking waves. Now I've already made a start on blocking in some of the colour studies for these digital designs that I've made. And at the time of recording this video I have only got as far as the blocking stage so none of them are finished yet. But I'll definitely show you the painting process in the next videos. I'll then see how these colour studies turn out and then I'm sure to do some large paintings from them. Okay, so these are the colour studies that I've blocked in so far. I still haven't finished any of these yet, but they're definitely getting there. This one's probably got about one more painting session on it and then it'll be finished. So this painting here I've featured in the Procreate video just now and also this one as well. As I say, I've only blocked these ones in. So what I've done is I've taken a sheet of um, oil primed linen and I've taped it to a board, divided it into four sections. So I'm going to be doing another couple of paintings down here as well. So I'll show you the process as this whole painting project progresses. Also, one other thing, let me know if you'd like me to make a video giving you a little tour of my art studio. Just leave me a comment in the comment section below and let me know if that's something you'd like to see. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Now if you'd like to learn more about painting seascapes and landscapes then check out my website. I've got a painting blog on there full of free written painting tutorials that you can copy and also use the reference photos as well and as well as that I have some full length painting tutorial videos for sale as well. I also have a Patreon channel where you get a new painting video every month and there's about two years worth of full length painting tutorial videos on there so it's like a landscape seascape painting course so I've put the link in the description box below to my website and Patreon. And one last thing, if you subscribe to my email list, I'm giving away a free ebook on introduction to oil painting. So again, link in the description box below. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'll join me in the next one where I'll show you this painting project as it unfolds. I think in the next video we'll get into one of the colour studies which I'll show you the process of that. So yeah, I reckon this painting project is going to be pretty cool and we'll be getting into it more in the coming videos, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, hope you're having a beautiful day, hope you're getting inspired to get some painting done. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.